Everyone, welcome back. Today, we're training an AI agent to play X, Menvis Street Fighter, running on the FB Neno emulator. We're using reinforcement learning. The AI learns by trying different actions and getting rewarded for good ones. This was all done with stable, retro and stable, baselines. If you enjoy AI, retro games, or just cool experiments, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. To make training more dynamic, I created a custom wrapper. It starts the agent in a random game state every time, sometimes in stage one, sometimes in later stages. Helps the AI generalize better instead of memorizing just one specific part of the game. The first training session, something interesting happened. The agent started learning a strategy where it kept switching characters over and over again. Not exactly what we'd call smart gameplay, but hey, in reinforcement learning, it only cares about what gets rewards. To monitor the agent's learning progress, I used TensorBoard. Here, we can look at the rollouts. Basically, how far the agent gets in each episode. Blue, highlighted spikes in the graph represent transitions to a new game stage. That's how we know the agent is actually improving and reaching different areas of the game. The second training phase, I used the same model and the same random stage wrapper. But now, the agent learned to exploit character switching even more, kept alternating characters super fast, basically hacking its way through the game. Sure, it worked, but it's not the kind of behavior we want. It would beat the game too easily without actually fighting.
To change things up, I experimented with the agent's internal settings, what we call policy to quarks. These parameters define how big and complex the AI's brain is. By reducing them, we made the model simpler and more efficient. And that impacted how it learned strategies. For the third phase, I applied two changes first. I added an action filter to block character switching entirely. Second. I removed the random stage selection, so the agent always started from the same point. This helped it focus more on real fighting mechanics, instead of exploiting randomness.
Action Filter is simple. It just removes the option to change characters from the available actions. By limiting the choices, the agent is guided toward better strategies, like timing, combos, and dodging, instead of glitchy behavior. In the final run, I combined all the tweaks, a smaller model, action filtering, and a more focused starting point. The result, AI could reach up to the second stage, which is impressive, considering how chaotic and fast this game is. So much for watching. If you like this project, make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more AI powered gaming experiments. Thank you.